be honest, be interesting, and be quick. Planted in 1915, this tree still stands today. That's what you want your brand to be like. And this tree tells a story. I think that there's always a story arc. Today we're talking about how to tell your brand story. Storytelling actually does have a lot of structure. You know, there's a narrative arc, there's the hero's journey. This is a great three-step guide to follow when you're creating your brand story. In my opinion, you gotta hook them. You know, one of the things that a lot of people don't know about for Dove is that it started as a love story between my wife and I. Educate them and inspire them. She's a real estate agent. I saw firsthand some of the inefficiencies in communication as a whole. It has really been the groundwork for Dove as a growth story to really empower now almost 30,000 businesses. It's a documentary I worked on where we had 900 hours of footage. That's when I learned it takes a lot of thought and a lot of planning to take reality and turn it into a story that's easily digestible by a wide audience. This is a tree in Balboa Park that's been here for over 100 years. And let me tell you, this tree is also one of the best stories. It's an individual, it's a group of individuals that are faced with a struggle, that have an opportunity. That arc, I feel like, is such an important place to start. Good stories keep your audience engaged. You have to think about what is the most interesting way to tell your story. Especially when it comes to brands, you gotta get people interested in your brand and create that emotional connection to your brand. So you have to find an interesting way to tell your story. It's about the person that's watching our video, that's hearing our story, that's feeling something from what we're sharing. You gotta start with something punchy. You gotta start with something interesting. You pique their interest and then you unpack what you said. Be honest in your storytelling and find the gold. Find those gold nuggets that make your story interesting. Spirit of transparency is such an important part of our brand story. For example, for our company, Dub.com, Ruben spent years trying to figure out the best way to communicate for sales and marketers. And after duct taping together all these different solutions, he finally decided, you know what, I'm gonna build this myself. And that's when Dub.com was born. There's no correct way to tell a story, I think, too. It's all about learning the rules and then breaking them. Because that's how you're gonna get attention, by breaking the rules a little bit, but you're going to keep people engaged by sticking with a story arc. Then you educate them, you tell them about your business, and then finally you inspire them. Tell them what to do, where to go, get your service, or learn more about your company. So hook them, educate them, inspire them. And I'm talking about all of this in front of this 100 year old tree because I think this tree is actually a great example of a brand story. First of all, this tree lasted this long, but there's a fence around this tree. I could say it was planted in 1915. I could say it's in the top 10 largest tree trunks in California. And those are all interesting facts, but look how there's a fence around it. Yeah, struggle here. The ground around this tree was getting compacted. So they had to build a fence around this tree to prevent people from stomping on the ground. It's a Morton Bay fig tree. And to finish off my brand story for this tree, I'd inspire. That's the inspirational future of this tree. They're building a viewing deck around it so people can approach the tree once more for the first time since 1989. And once they build this viewing deck, it might be an opportunity for them to measure the tree trunk again because the last time they measured this tree trunk was 1996. Come to Balboa Park sometime in the future and they'll be able to get on a viewing deck to approach. So that's my brand story for the Morton Bay fig tree. I hope that adds some clarity for you. You can kind of hook people with a story, grab people in those first 30 seconds of your brand story, show the change, show the evolution, and then at the end, a conclusion. For more videos on branding, marketing, and beyond, be sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed already. It's our way of knowing that you liked this video and you wanna see more, so thank you so much. And feel free to leave a comment down below with any questions or comments, and we'll get back to you. Thank you so much, and we'll see you another time. Farewell, bye-bye.